we are just days away from the Appalachian Arts and Entertainment Awards in Prestonsburg. Yes, yes, yes. And today we are talking with the Kentucky Secretary of Tourism, Arts and Heritage Cabinet, Lindy Casebeer. We appreciate you, Lindy, for being on the show with us here. And we want to talk to you a little bit about how the Appy Awards will impact the community in all aspects. Again, thank you for being here with us on the show. So let's talk about it. I mean, th this is a true great opportunity to put Kentucky on showcase. It sure is. Uh, I'm, I'm honored to be a presenter this year and uh, just looking forward to the event on Saturday evening. So can you tell us about what we can expect from that event? Well, this is my first happy, so I'm, I'm kind of wondering what to expect as well, but I know it's going to be a great time. It's going to be an opportunity to showcase Kentucky's talent, uh, talent from this region, uh, this Kentucky, the region, and, and Appalachia, all of Appalachia. So it's, um, it's going to be a, an exciting night uh, to honor and recognize those that have made significant contributions um, to the region. So how will this impact the uh the education system, of course, with having the Appies in Prestonsburg yet again? Well, I think that the focus that they have on different aspects of entertainment and the arts, and especially their focus on one of the focuses on education is, is near and dear to my heart. I, I started my career as a high school band director, so um, I, I always say that you know, the, the arts transform our communities, they heal our souls, and, and they enrich our spirits. And uh, uh, as a former band director, I know um, how impactful the arts can be to students throughout the Commonwealth, as well as uh, adults. They just make such a difference in, in our daily lives, the arts at every level, visual arts, performing arts, uh, and it's just, an honor to be able to be part of this celebration and and be among folks that are going to be honored for their contributions. Yeah, and, and I love the fact that that we get to host it right here in Kentucky, uh, and we have several states represented all along the Appalachian Mountain chain uh, that will will be in attendance because people from all over are up for these awards. So you know, different aspects of Appalachia have different backgrounds. I mean, we all think it's the same, but it's very different. So we get to expose them to to our Eastern Kentucky culture, right? And the educational facts that, that come in from there. Absolutely, uh, our culture, our art scene, uh, because of cultural and arts tourism, which is a significant uh, economic driver in Kentucky uh, and leading to the incredible numbers of tourism, uh, Last year alone, tourism uh, was a $12.9 billion industry in Kentucky. And that's because of many things. A lot of tourists come to Kentucky for, for horses and bourbon, but they discover so much else that Kentucky has to offer. And they, among that is our thriving art scene and our artists uh, that have made such contributions to Kentucky. Uh, our poet laureate, Silas House, uh, current poet laureate uh, and Tyler Childers, they, they took part uh, first time ever uh, in, a, in a gubernatorial inauguration for Governor Andy Bashir in December and, and their contribution to that event uh, made it such a special time and uh, Silas uh, as an artist uh, and, and poet laureate and writer, he, he has made such a, he's so selfless with his time. This is, uh, I'm digressing a bit, but I have to get in a plug for our Kentucky State Parks, which is another reason for Kentucky tourism uh, numbers to be so high. Uh, our park system is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year in 2024, and Silas has offered and has already done the first one, but he's done one writer's workshop uh, at Cumberland Falls. Uh, he's going to do another one in April and another one in the fall, uh, sharing his many gifts uh, with Kentucky. And it's certainly one of the best parts of this job is the is the individuals that I get to meet uh, in the arts that have made such a difference in the in the lives of, of all Kentuckians. And where would we be without without 
uh, our Tyler Childers and our Silas House and, and our Minnie Atkins and, and just artists from one part of the Commonwealth to the other. And, and I'm excited to be part of that celebration on Saturday evening. Well, we are looking so forward to seeing you. Uh, you can find out more information, folks, Appalachian Arts and Entertainment Awards.com. You can get uh, information there. You can go to MacArts.com as well because this will be held at the Mountain Arts Center. Red carpet starts at 6 that evening, India, and then 7 o'clock the show. Secretary, we appreciate you being on. Thank you.